Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. We are on our journey of hair growth 2020. So today I want to share with you guys a hair mask. You guys know when my hair is in a bun, that means it's time for wash day. So this is the perfect time to do a mask. So today I'm going to be doing an aloe, ooh, an aloe vera mask. This um, aloe vera plant I bought from Walmart. Um, any grocery store you can buy it from. So you just literally need an aloe vera plant and that's literally it, but I'm going to be extra and I'm going to use a blender. You do not need a blender. Um, and then I'm going to add in some oil to my mask. So my hair has product and oil in it because I've been massaging oils in my scalp. Um, so it's pretty dirty. I'm pretty sure I have built up and dandruff in my hair. So aloe vera has a lot of benefits. It promotes hair growth. Um, it relieves um, itchy scalp and dandruff. So this is one of the main reasons I'm using it today. Um, we all know that healthy hair grows. So healthy hair starts from your scalp. If your scalp is clean and healthy, then your hair will grow. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut the plant. I'm gonna cut this piece off. I don't wanna cut like the whole thing off. I'm just gonna cut the tip of it. Ooh. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut it into sections. I feel like we can still use these, so I'm not gonna get rid of it yet. But the main portions, ooh, are these. I'm gonna cut the edges. Oops. I'm just not trying to get rid of any product that I can use. And we're just going to basically cut the aloe vera plant so that we can use it. You don't have to put it in a blender bottle. You can just rub this on your scalp, but I want to, I'm lazy and I don't have patience. So if you don't have patience like me. I think a blender is easier. So now I'm just going to apply it to my hair. This is going to get messy. Wow, instantly this feels real soft. I 
could have did was just this part would have been easier I just feel like it's more time consuming so I didn't want to do it but I can smell the lavender and castor oil If there chunks, it is what it is. I'm not gonna stress it. And the aloe vera might get dry, poke some holes in it, and they'll be gooey again. And now I'm just gonna work the product in my ends to condition. I recommend wearing something that is not your favorite because this stuff does get messy. This feels so great on my scalp. So it is literally saturated in my hair. I'm gonna wrap it up and I'm gonna put a cap on I have to go get my cap um, my hands are dirty I don't know how I'm gonna leave here but I'm gonna sit under a cap for about 30 minutes to an hour make sure you apply some on your edges and I might just apply this to my skin to remove the dead skin cells because there are benefits for your skin as well. And I will see you guys back when I wash my hair to see the results of my hair. So I am back. Um, I left it in my hair for 30 minutes and then I went to shower and so I did put on my face and it felt amazing. Um, my hair detangled like butter, like it was so smooth. I actually finger detangle and it's so hard for me to finger detangle sometimes, especially with my hair being in a bun for like five days. <laughs> Um, I really stretched that one. So the detangling wasn't bad for me having my hair in a bun for almost a week. You know, our hair gets knotted and stuff. My hair feels so smooth. My scalp feels so cleansed. I don't see any like dandruff. And I feel like it's shinier than it usually is. I know it's wet, but it does seem shinier. Even my like, what is it? My sideburns and my edges, they just look more shinier. So I'm impressed with this um, aloe vera mask. I recommend doing it once a week. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next video with more tips on hair growth.